Joining us in the studio now, we have a very special guest. We have uh, Mr. Sean Peters. Sean, how you doing? Oh, best kind. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, we have to call you sir, don't we? <laughs> well, you could call me sir. A lot of people do. All right. <laughs> He's a uh, teacher. Yeah, Sean is a teacher at Carboneer Collegiate. You're a science teacher, correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. And you teach a whole wide array of things? Yeah, I teach a uh, little bit of physics, some earth systems, and some general science to high school students. All right, that is cool. Now, what's even cooler is you're, uh, you're currently in the running. I yes. guess you could say, for a pretty cool contest that uh, would involve you possibly going into space. Well, that's the uh, the end result of the contest, is a trip 103 kilometers up into the atmosphere, uh, which is technically space. <laughs> uh, it's still in the thermosphere, but uh, I'll take it. Oh, Close yeah. enough. Close, Close enough. enough, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, right now, we're in the stage of gathering support through votes. Uh, the top two in Canada get to move on to the next stage right that, that's an international competition okay how many people involved in the international aspect uh the international i think it's uh, two per country wow uh, there's an awful lot there yeah and i believe although i could be wrong on this i believe the top 22 from that stage uh-huh. uh get to go right up into space wow cool, yeah. cool. and this so, is this is a promotion being done through axe right uh yes axe this, body spray uh axe apollo body spray yes um it's a scent that's out of this world, I suppose. Nothing beats an astronaut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you've seen the uh, the ads on TV, uh, they're they're quite funny. They are. Uh, <laughs> certainly enjoy those. So how how does one? Uh, I guess first of all, uh, enter into this contest. Like, what was the what was the process for you to get this far? Yeah. Uh, well, I just had to go, and I believe they're still taking some applicants. Uh-huh. Although there's uh, an awful lot of people involved now, uh, you'd have a hard time catching up, I believe. But uh, you just go to the Axe Apollo webpage mm-hmm. and uh, just join up. Uh, as long as you have a Facebook account, you can create your own astronaut kind of pro- profile and uh, try to get some support as well. And this thing is just done on unpopularity. Basically, the, the goal is to get your name out there and get as many people vote for you as possible. So you, you're trying to make yourself go viral, basically, is what you're saying. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and I've been trying a couple of things to do that. Uh-huh. Uh, I've got a Facebook group which is Help Send a Newfoundlander to Space. Uh-huh. Uh, if you go on Facebook and you just type that in, you'll find the group. It's got links to vote. Uh, I've got a YouTube video out now. Uh, it's got over 1,000 views. See? Cool. Um, so that's called Space Newfie. Uh-huh. It's, it's a parody of the Joker. Uh, I'm not even going to recommend that you watch it because <laughs> it, it's quite horrible. <laughs> uh, for anyone who knows me, don't worry. I'm not going to sing on the air. <gasps> Uh, but it's worth checking out. People seem to think it's funny. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. If a thousand people think it's funny, it, then it's funny. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And I've also developed a, a small Flash video game, which is on Congregate. Uh, it's called Asteroids vs. My Face. <laughs> and you can check that out. Have a bit of fun playing that as well. That's so. a little different. That's Most awesome. people will just do the, 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 do the YouTube video or something like that. You actually created a video game. I did actually create a video game. Uh, it's by no means as high tech as some of the things that uh, that people play nowadays. but Kind of Pong. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little, it's basically just my face on a screen with asteroids and you have to move out of the way. Cool. So, you know. This is a longevity contest. Right. Uh, you need to get support up to and including August. So I want people to have something that they can kind of have a little look at and something that's going to keep them uh, interested for the long term. Something to remember you by. Well, they certainly won't forget me, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> so so, so cr- they vote on your face- on the Facebook? Is that how the voting goes? Uh, the easiest way to do it, uh, because you need a link to the actual uh, each person. It's sure. really mm-hmm. hard to find it on the Axe page itself. So if they go to help find... An, uh, sorry. Help send a Newfoundlander to space. Right. Uh, there is a link in the description there that you can vote. And if you like that, uh, I send out updates okay. uh, regularly. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be lots of wild and wacky things happening over the next few months. So it would be well worth uh, liking the Facebook group just to get it, uh, just to get in touch with that kind of stuff. Well, yeah. if you created a video game at this point in the, st- in the game, I can't wait to see what you got planned well, from like up to <laughs> August, you know what I mean? I can assure you, uh, right now I'm sitting at about 35th uh, in Canada. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, top two go on to the next level. Uh, I can assure you, I start to get into the top 20, top 10, uh, the gloves are going to come off at that point, and there's there's really no limit Ooh. Uh, to what I'm what I'm willing to do. Them's fighting words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we do, have, uh, we do have an awful lot of competition at yeah. this point. Uh, one thing that I'm trying to do... Uh-huh. Uh, I've got a little bit of a t-shirt contest going on right now. Uh, so anyone who's interested in design or, or any graphic things, uh, anyone who designs a t-shirt for me, they can upload the image to my Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And the best design, uh, I'll get made into a t-shirt, which, assuming I get to the next level, I'll be wearing at that level uh, with 
the names of people who've helped me on the back. So, oh, cool! So, oh. so, so hopefully, uh, hopefully people find that kind of stuff interesting. Yeah, yeah. And just check in with the Facebook page. Okay, so I got to ask you this now. I mean, other than the fact that it's, it'd be really, really cool to say that you were in space. I'm sure anybody would love that opportunity just mm. to say they did it. Uh, you know, what what drew you to this contest? Like, were you one of those kids growing up watching Star Wars, wanting to like be an astronaut or be like you know Han Solo, something like that, fly through space? Now, I, I got to be careful because I'm going to be lynched for this later, but I've never really been a big Star Wars fan. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm trying to go. I know. I know. My mic is going off right <laughs> I'm now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. okay. You don't need but no force. We'll, we'll move away from that and just kind of kind of keep going. Okay. Uh, no, I've always been fascinated by space. Uh, in my studies, I've just found some amazing, amazing things. And, you know, we know very little about what's out there, mm-hmm. and it'd just be absolutely amazing. Um, and I look at this for my own personal experience to be able to travel to space. Um, there have been less than 600 people who've actually gotten into space Mm -hmm. and to be part of that group would be amazing. But I also look at it in terms of what I can bring back to my students. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean the applications, the things that we're going to see, um, you know, we're going to be seeing the curvature of the earth. We'll be breaking the sound barrier, uh, we'll be experiencing, zero g's for a little while mm-hmm. yeah yeah. Uh, they're gonna put us into a spin on the way down to <laughs> simulate some extra g-force i don't know why we want to simulate extra <laughs> g-force but, but apparently we do uh and all those things are, are quite relevant so i just find that you know students today they get bored with some of the stuff that we do and anything that that i can do to bring in a little bit of extra uh oomph, we'll yeah. Say. yeah 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 um so you know they're, they're quite excited about this contest uh and hopefully it inspires them to go and, and learn a little bit about space as well. Yeah, it's one thing to actually sit there in a classroom and listen to somebody, not just, you know, from from a high school, but like even in a university level, for, for one person to just kind of sit there and listen to somebody talk about science and space and, and physics from just reading about it. It'd be cool to go in and actually have some firsthand experience, you know. Like, oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, if you're talking about the layers of the atmosphere and say, well, when I pass through the mesosphere. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, this guy knows his stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to dispute that at that point. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. You can almost make some stuff up and people will have to buy it because think you've actually <laughs> been, there. been there. So like, listen, don't mess with him. He's been to space. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Sean, we wish you the best of luck in your uh, in, in your endeavors here. Hope you uh, hope you make it to where you want to go. Uh, what after when we go to break here, I'll get you to actually write down the link to your to your Absolutely. YouTube video and your Facebook page. We'll we'll tweet it and and then post it later. Uh, hopefully that'll get you some extra votes. Absolutely. I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule, coming and joining us uh, this morning to talk about that. And once again, I just wish you the best of luck. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Sean Pierce, Excellent folks. opportunity. Might be going into space. First Newfoundlander to go to space, I'm Woo! pretty sure. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break right now. Got your Oz FM comedy drop coming up as well. We are going to hear from Headley. Stay tuned.